Hello everyone, this is Sean Broccoli here, and in today's video we're going to be doing the flashback episode for the Sega 4 Complete Plus. So let's go ahead and get started. The destruction of the world by Fear the Great was halted by a party led by Prinian instructor Valva Torres. All of the commotion caused by Judge Nemo settled down, and the netherworld was headed towards recovery. However, a great mystery still remained inside the minds of Fuka, Desco, and Artina, which was... That whole fear the great thing is all settled. I think it's finally time to settle that other thing. What are you talking about? About the story of how Fen Fen met Bowsy. We didn't have time to talk about it on the moon. Oh, that. I'm surprised you still remembered because I completely forgot about it. You're such a child. Desco totally remembers about the vow he made to the moon. <laughs> I've been waiting for the perfect time to bring it up, too. And it looks like we have plenty of time now. So, Fen Fen, let's hear it. How did you and Valzi meet? I refuse. Won't you at least consider answering? So, it's something you don't want to talk about. That makes me even more curious. <laughs> I knew you'd be like this, so I came up with a backup plan. A backup plan? Yep, just watch. Hey, Valzi, about that story we couldn't get to on the moon about you and Fen Fen. So you're just gonna ask him instead? Isn't that more of taking the easier path than a backup plan? As expected of Big Sis, Desco should learn from her determination in executing her plans. Lass, should I simply get rid of you all permanently? Don't get so worked up, Fenric. It's all in the past now. It wouldn't hurt to talk about it. Uh, however, my lord, I have no intention of sharing that kind of... All right, if it's hard for you to talk about it, then allow me. I shall help you share. Please wait, my lord! You're way too honest for a demon. If you're going to say something to make this situation even more uncomfortable... ...then I'd rather tell it. Now, shall I tell everyone how you and I first met? The truth will be revealed! It happened back when I was still a mercenary. I was on a mission, ordered by a certain party leader. A mission? That's right. The mission was to... assassinate Tyrant Valvatores. A demon named Tyrant. So, you're Fenric. I'm surprised to see that Moonlight Fang, the man that no one wants as their enemy, is such a slender man. Minitros, the leader of the Demon Party. Unless you want to test my skills in battle right now, state your business already. <laughs> Look at you yelping away. I can see you certainly don't lack confidence. Very well. Let me start with a question. Can you bring me back the head of... Tyrant Valvatores? Depends on the money. Without hesitation. Have you never heard of Valvatores? Is that even possible? 
A vampire whose power is said to even rival that of Death King Hugo's, our next president. I don't blame you for feeling intimidated. I can't let such a powerful man run around freely. Before he thirsts for more power, I must eliminate him. I will eliminate every single demon that gets in my way. Eventually, Hugo, too. Then, I will become the Netherworld President. How much is your offer? How much do you want? One hundred million hell. <laughs> All right. I will prepare one hundred million hell to exchange for Velva Torres's head. It's a deal. You can just wait with my money. Minotros, a fool fixated on the pseudo-power known as authority. Why doesn't he understand that it would only mean something if he defeated Valva Torres or Hugo himself? He gladly agreed to pay the amount of 100 million hell. <laughs> it was obvious that he had no intentions of paying me from the start. A delirious coward couldn't possibly fulfill the duties of the president. Oh, won't I ever meet a worthy demon? A demon who will eventually conquer and reign over all the worlds. A demon who can bring my wish to fruition. Valva Torres, the one they call Tyrant. This is the perfect opportunity to finally observe your power myself. I'll worry about how I'll collect my money later. Tyrant Valva Torres, brace yourself! Today is the day you will die! <laughs> I hope you're ready yourself. As a demon, you must know the weight of keeping your word. If you can't kill me today, as you proclaim, then you will pay for it with your lives! What the hell are you talking about? Hurry up and die! Are you Valva Torres? I need to speak with you. Speak with me? <laughs> I'm about to fight these demons. Can it wait until this is settled? Very well. In that case, I'll help out. There's no need. I can take care of this myself. I just thought you should see my power before we speak later. I won't get in your way. I'm more useful than some demon aristocrat. Oh, you insist. What are you two chatting about? We don't have time for this crap! Peons with no manners. I'll allow you to fight me, so hurry up and die. The hell? We'll freaking annihilate you and your big mouth! Oh, I almost forgot. Your name? My name is Fenric. I am from the werewolf bloodline, as you can see. Fenric? The Moonlight Pang! Bastards! Whatever! We're gonna sacrifice you to this bloodfest! Okay, so this is gonna be stage one of uh, four for the flashback episode. Uh, the flashback episode's pretty short, it's just the four stages. And um, one of the I guess benefits of doing this is you get to use the um, tyrant Velva Torres. So I don't actually notice this at this point, um, but you can actually control uh, tyrant Velva Torres. He isn't just uh, sitting there looking pretty. Um, but I, in the first stage, I don't. Uh, believe I use him at all so the first stage obviously isn't I mean really too crazy uh, you have your two sets of enemies on e each side of the base panel uh, so just go ahead bring out your team take out these guys They're not uh, anything special uh, obviously you want to kind of 
prioritize the death at the back uh, just because his attacks will take away your SP, which obviously is a little annoying when you can't use some skills. But the best course of action here is to just uh, kind of take advantage of any attacks that will do damage over a large area. Uh, another thing to note is you won't have access to a lot of the story characters, so you're going to be left with uh, Fenric, and then basically every generic character that you have in your base. You won't have access to Desco, Fuka, um, Artina, Imizel, etc. So you'll just have to make sure that you have some strong generic characters. Um, and then it, it, do take advantage of Valvatore's, um, uh, what's it called, his uh, third skill. Uh, it's very strong and it has a large area. Uh, you could probably obliterate most of the enemies in just uh, one attack. So actually, you, you could probably just send all your team into one direction and then send Valvator, uh, Tyrant Valvatores to the other direction. He could, he could clear out an entire section on his own. Uh, so that pretty much does it for that level or stage. Uh, I'll just leave you with the rest of the video. Here we go. Not enough. I am quit. Oh, come on.
thanks to you, I was able to efficiently rid myself of all those irresponsible... Uh, right. I didn't do much. What? Did he just thank me? Don't be so modest. So, what is it that you wanted to speak with me about? Oh, yes. I see that you're being targeted by other demons. That is correct. A rash of egotistical demons have been trying to prove themselves rather than fulfilling their duty to scare humans. It seems like the quality of the young demons has been degenerating lately. It's rather unsettling. But the more you defeat those demons, the more demons will come after you. There's going to be no end to this. Hire me. I want to work for you. Oh! You want to be my comrade? Comrade? Oh, whatever, I'll just play along for now. That's right! Let us be comrades! You won't regret it. All right. Then we shall be comrades from now on. How can you be so careless? I know I'm the one who offered, but aren't you suspicious of me? What value would suspicion bring? I've already witnessed your power. There's no doubt there. If you want to join me, then join me. But how could you be so sure? How could you have survived in this world for so long by making decisions like that? Easy, I'm strong. I'm strong? <laughs> is he an idiot? This idiot is Tyrant Valvatores? Fenric, do you want to know something? In the human world, individuals are bound by trust and become allies. Their teamwork can be quite challenging to overcome at times, even for me. Trust among people can unleash an unexpectedly vigorous power. Trust, you say? I think that forcing de- Are you saying that you do too, Fenric? Are you going to betray your comrade? No, I... Th that's not what I meant. Then I see no problem. I shall live up to the faith you have placed in me as a proud and noble demon. Fine. What is wrong with this guy? Faith? Trust? Is he serious? I had prepared the perfect excuse to pry my way into being his ally, but I suppose it was completely unnecessary. Is he just an idiot, or is he... I will find out the truth about this tyrant myself. Fanfan! I thought you were supposed to assassinate Bowsy. Why did you become his ally? Oh, I bet he had some dark and evil scheme behind it. Desko can't wait to hear the rest! So, Mr. Vampire has always been this weird, huh? Come on! So, what happened next? What more do you want to know? A few things happened after that, and here we are now. That's it. Objection! You're gonna explain to us all about that vow you made to the moon. Fine. I'll take it from here. Please, no! I'll continue. Are you sure? Don't strain yourself. We're ready for more. Tell us what happened, Fen Fen. Yeah, come on, hurry! You lug rats, don't try to... Tell them about it, Fenric. You started this, so you better finish it. You too? Fine, here I go. After I had joined forces with my lord. So, got any leads? I don't know what's bothering you, but I'd like to settle this so I can move on to the human world. I need to create fear in them. As demons, we have to keep the humans in line by making them know fear. The human's fear becomes energy for us demons. All right, I get that you're a diligent demon, but bear with me for a little longer. I'm almost there. I see. Fine. I'll wait until you're ready. I've dragged him around and made him fight against every demon lord we've run into, but none of his opponents can even come close to comparing with his power. I've stuck some poison into his food, but I haven't seen any changes in him. What secret lies behind his power? 
I already know that I'll get countered, even if I ambush him. Studying him first was definitely the right call. Anyway... Hey, haven't you ever thought about using your power to rule the netherworld? My job is to punish humans with fear. That's the mission of a proud and noble demon. I have no other interests. You truly are diligent, and rather conservative, considering how powerful you are. You're the kind of demon who would put 100% effort into fulfilling your duties, even if you were a Prinny instructor. <laughs> a Prinny instructor, huh? That is a job for powerless demons. I couldn't see myself doing that. Though I'll always do whatever it takes to do whatever I have to do at the time. That philosophy will never change. Whatever you have to do, huh? And that is to punish humans? This man has no ambition. I thought he might be the one, but I may have overestimated him. I think it's about time. Come on out here. I know you're there. Demons who are after Tyrant Valvatores' life. Tyrant Valvatores, what are you doing here? You guys must be after the bounty that was put on his life. What? Bounty? Huh? He's got a bounty? Sweet. He's all mine. Alright, so stage two is a little bit more difficult than the, the first one. Uh, obviously, you can see there's a bunch of monks at the top of the, I guess you call it a church there. Uh, so one of the most important things would be to kind of take them out as they can pretty much uh, do massive damage to your team. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little difficult to kind of get to them on the first turn. Um, at this point, you probably won't have a lot of uh, movement uh, squares or range, whatever you want to call it, uh, to, to get around into that fence, up the box, and onto the th the church. And you probably won't have anybody with the, I guess, the jumping power to jump right up there. Um, so you'll probably have to try and get out of range of them. Uh, you can focus on the professors as you move towards them. I think in this video I actually end up going after the monks last. At this point in the game, things are going to be get uh, quite difficult in terms of enemies and their their strength and um, I guess evasiveness. So you you probably want to focus more on the the item world at this point. Uh, kind of get your. Um, items leveled up obviously it's gonna be a little difficult to get some of the the legendary um, equipment up there with your characters at uh, such a low level so you'll probably want to maybe just focus on maybe getting some uh, basic stuff uh, I guess the common rarities up uh, you could probably get them to like level 35, 30 to 35, depending on, I guess, the, the path you take. And if you get any of those uh, lo level sp uh, spheres, you just want to kind of give your your main party, I guess, the, the best opportunity to take out some of these tough enemies and take damage if need be this level itself probably won't be too difficult in terms of uh, the enemies but as it goes on it will get tougher and then as we move on to some of the other post game stuff it's gonna get tougher as well especially the the main post game um, I guess kind of story uh, you're gonna I think the, the toughest enemy ends up being level 4,000 at that point. So actually, at this point of recording, I'm still trying to work on getting there. Uh, 
so yeah, focus on the item world. Uh, get that stuff up. Uh, if you can, th uh, at the end of the tenth stage, usually you'll get uh, sent to the item or the innocent town. What you want to do there is uh, pass a. You can pass a bill to increase the growth of any stat on the weapon. You can also increase the movement and the the jumping power if you want. Uh, you can only pass one bill at a time though, up to six. Obviously, since it's you're going to do a basic item, you're only going to have access to probably three bills, assuming you get the. Um, the mushroom with the campaign uh, board I get uh, to show up each time but uh, typically what I like to do is focus on just inc uh, increasing the growth of the the main stat on that item so obviously if it's a weapon like a sword you want to increase the attack um, if it's a piece of equipment if it's like armor then defense if it's something um, like with the ex there's a, a what uh, not a weapon but uh, an item called the accelerator uh, that actually gives you a plus two movement I increased the movement f um, for all the bills there to give my give a character more mobility uh, you can also do that with the the winged boots And then, uh, as well, another thing that you might want to look into is getting the Mount Ordeal unlocked. Uh, you can do that through the campaign, just passing the, the bill. Unfortunately, it's probably going to fail. Uh, so you'll have to either bribe the, the senators, or you're going to have to use force. Um... I've obviously force is probably the easiest but um, you got you got to watch out for some of the enemies uh, they could be up to level 1100 so obviously they're a little tough to take out but uh, as, as things as you level up and you get stronger and reincarnate you can usually take the the senators out pretty easily uh, it's just gonna be at this point in the game it's probably going to be a little difficult though but once you got the mount ordeals um, complete then you're kind of in a good position where you can complete the the stages of the mount ordeal uh, they, there's basically four stages and the enemies are at level 100 and then they go up every every level by 100 so stage 1 is 100 stage 2 200 etc etc up to 400 um, basically you want to kind of complete the first three and unlock the fourth one and then the fourth one is pretty much what you're going to use to power level any of your characters um, it's obviously easiest to do with desco first um, once you unlock that fourth one because if you uh, fuse desco with another enemy you get a Obviously, a big Desco, and the range of her Yoke Sloth, I think, or actually, no, it doesn't increase. But uh, most um, most uh, attacks, their area of attack do increase. Um, I th but I believe the the max is obviously three by three, which is what Yoke Sloth is already at. And then you just aim for the the middle of the pack of the gargoyles. And you should be able to take out all of them, leaving four remaining, and then you just have to kind of survive and then finish them off, which you can do with other characters. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to talk about at this point. Uh, so I'll let you continue watching this. And then we'll, I guess, say our goodbyes at the end.
On your <laughs> ha! Evil spirit, leave. <laughs> I had no idea about the bounty. I knew there had to be some reason all these demons are coming after you. I see. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't told me. Thanks a lot, Fenric. I'm glad we're comrades. Huh? Oh, it's fine. He thanked me. That's the second time the tyrant thanked me. What is he? Minitros is the man who rules this area. I bet he's the one who put the bounty on your head. Minitros. Do you know him? Nope. Never heard of him before. Oh. According to my research, he felt threatened by your reputation as the tyrant. So he decided to get rid of you. What a fool. How can he be so proud of his power if he won't fight me face to face? So, all those I've fought so far were corrupted demons tempted by money. Now I understand why they were so weak. How upsetting. If you leave him alone, he will keep getting in your way. What are you going to do? Well, I suppose I must teach him a lesson. That he cannot stop me as long as he relies solely on the power of money. If he wants to defeat me, he had better come challenge me with a power that is even more violent than mine! Come now! To the headquarters of the Demon Party! I thought you'd say something like that, though I'm sure I can handle a peon like him myself. There's no need for you to go. So, just wait here. It'll be easier for me to take care of him if you don't come with me. Is that so? If you insist, I'm counting on you, Fenric. Tyrant Valvatores. I admit that he's strong, but I'm not interested in a demon who is satisfied with only punishing humans. Allies. Trust. He's a worthless. Does he really trust me? Oh, he couldn't possibly. We're demons. We don't trust anyone. We live to betray and hurt each other. Valvatores is no different. I'll never see him again anyway. That was the last time. <sighs> I didn't believe in the words allies and trust back then. I even looked down on Lord Valvatores for believing in them. Mr. Werewolf. How careless can you be anyway, Valzi? You fell for Fen Fen's lies so easily. Well, sure. But Fenric was my comrade. I admire your unfadingly strong will, my lord. So what ended up happening to your mission? 
Did you pretty much lose interest in Valvatoras and the money? Man, I want to hear the rest of the story, but I think we should take a break. You're right. Jesco, let's go get some desserts. Yay! I'm coming, big sis! And that will do it for the end of this video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you do like the content and would like to see more kind of stuff like this, go ahead and like or subscribe. Uh, this is Sean Broccoli. I'll see you guys next time.